For years, Pat Acton has been wowing people at his Matchstick Marvels Museum. One of the major pieces in the museum here in Gladbrook, and, and people kind of fall in love with, with Battleship. The Capitol was a... I built the Capitol when I was still employed full-time. The shuttle was built uh, the year after the Challenger exploded. Now, Acton has come up with a two-third scale model Dodge Charger. Contracting models with Ripley's Believe It or Not, and this was uh, the uh, 1970 Dodge Charger, the fully blown Charger from the Fast and Furious movie. This model has a detailed engine and dashboard, as well as the undercarriage. Acton used over 20 gallons of glue, and it has around three quarters of a million matchsticks without the head to start the fire. The small kids come into the museum. We have to show them what matchsticks are because, you know, they're, they are kind of a thing of the past. These matchsticks are getting harder to find. Companies are no longer making them. So I came to an agreement with a Diamond Match and, and bought my final order of five million sticks. When those five million sticks are done, I'm officially retired. Over his career, Acton has glued around seven million matchsticks. For somebody to take the time to sit down and glue a million matchsticks together to look like the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars, there aren't a lot of people that would take the time to do that. The Dodge Charger will be on display here until June. From Gladbrook, Roger Riley, Channel 13 News.